bias received CAR T cell therapy targeting BCMA and the CD38 for hard to treat multiple myeloma. Uh, I will show you the updated results from phase one dose climbing trial. Uh, CAR T cell has, sh has uh, shown the promising results in leukemia and uh, lymphoma. However, in multiple myeloma, it's still being explored. Uh, most of the CAR, CAR T cell in multiple myeloma uh, target BCMA. Uh, the question is, uh, most of the patients uh, short-term uh, short relapsed. That's the main problem. So uh, to solve this problem, we uh, design a bias-specific target CAR T cell. That's just containing the BCMA and the uh, CD38 uh, in, in, te uh, in tandem, tandem. So we can see uh, from this figure that uh, uh, this CAR T product uh, combined the uh, BCMA and the CD38 antigen on the membrane of the plasma cell, both uh, simultaneously and uh, individually. And, uh, I think uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, new CAR T cell may have some effect on the uh, suppressor B cell. Uh, that means it can overcome the uh, Im uh, immunosuppressor of a tumor environment. All patients in this uh, group uh, are subject to uh, lymphodepleting by cyclophosphamides and uh, uh, fluorabine. And the CAR T infused at, uh, with different dose from 0 0.5 to 4 uh, times 10 to 6. Uh, 22 patients enrolled in this group, and uh, up to the cutoff dates, that means uh, October 31st, uh, 19 patients still alive, and uh, 10 keep the SCR, 1 keep the VGPR. Uh, and four keep the PR, uh, three patients relapsed. Uh, this the patients, uh, uh, the baseline characteristics. Uh, the patients with a median age is uh, 59 years old, and 78% uh, uh, has different cytogenetic abnormality, such as the 1Q21 application. Nine of the patients has uh, developed uh, extramedullary diseases. Nineteen patients uh, uh, observed the uh, CRS, but the severe CRS uh, is just accounted for uh, 22 patients. No neurotoxicity was observed. Almost all the patients was observed with hematological toxicity. Thirteen percent of the patients was observed with uh, hypoto. Cystic and one with uh, nephrotoxicity. Uh, this uh, slide showed the uh, clinical efficacy of the uh, BCMA uh, CD38 CAR T cell infusion. The, the reasonable dose is uh, 4 times 10 to 6. At this uh, dose, we, we, get, uh, we get the OPR is 90%. Includes 12 SCR, 2 VGPR, and 5 PR. 18 patients reached the MRD negative states. The median duration of a pro uh, progressing free survival has not been reached. Interestingly, we found that the peak time of the CAR T cell in peripheral uh, blood bloods is 7 to 5th uh, to fifth day after infusing for SCR patients. Why? For non SCR patients, it's uh, 14 to uh, 30 days. Uh, the, the, this CAR T cell can be tested by Q, Q time PCR in peripheral blood of the old patients, and the longest duration is, is more than 450 days. Uh, line, uh, uh, eight of the nine patients uh, achieved the part, uh, partial or complete eliminated of the uh, extramedullary tumor. This shows some of the cases. Uh, this is uh, patient seven. It's a 60 years old female with a periodic lesion. After uh, CAR T refusing, 
the, uh, the huge mass becomes small, and then this patient gets a VGPR in the second month. Another patient is a male with a parathoracic uh, huge mass, and uh, after uh, CAR T infusing, uh, the mass dis uh, disappears. And uh, <clears throat> the third patient uh, is a huge mass in the breast, and uh, after uh, the CAR T therapy, uh, it becomes small. So we can draw the conclusion. This is the first clinical trial about anti-BCM and uh, CD38 dual target CAR T cell therapy for relapse or refractory multiple myeloma. Our study demonstrates an improved efficacy and a manageable safety with uh, this CAR T cell. The BCMA and a, and a CD38 CAR T cell uh, have a higher ORR, especially a higher rate and a longer duration of HCR and the effective elimination for extramedullary lesions. This initial data provides the strong evidence to support the further development of dual target CAR T cell therapy for hard to treat multiple myeloma. I would like to thank uh, Cell Yen uh, Therapeutics. Thank you for listening.